Hi, welcome to the Earl Center at Wheelock College. My name is Dan Ochiri Owusu, and I'm here with Mayor Parker O'Toole. And uh, Mayor runs this place. It's a beautiful, wonderful place. And first, I'd like for Mayor to tell you a little bit about what the Earl Center is all about, and then I'm going to tell you what we're going to cook and the culture we're going to look at today. Well, the Earl Center it was built about three years ago, and it's our Center for Learning and Innovation. And innovation is an interesting word because nobody really knows what it means. And what I've taken it to mean is to give people permission to explore and play. So we do a lot of playing here. Um, you know, thinking outside the, the bounds and encouraging people to take risks and uh, try things out they've never tried before. So what we're gonna, thank you, Mayor. What we're gonna try today, we're gonna do a cultural cooking show. And I am from Ghana in West Africa, and we're gonna make jollof rice and chicken today. So while we're cooking though, little, little by little, you're gonna see some of the culture of Ghana through video, through some images, um, but the most important is by the time we finish with you today, you get, we're gonna share a great meal called jollof rice. All right, so what we're going to be making is jollof rice, and that is one of the, um, the, the dishes from Ghana that people really love. It's a popular dish, so what we're going to use, of course, in the back we have the chicken. Always have to have the chicken, which we'll mix separately and then put into the rice. So coconut oil is what we're going to use. Very healthy. All right, this isn't like uh, lard, or it's not like... Um, even vegetable oil is okay, but coconut oil is a very healthy oil to use, so we're going to do that. We have our rice here, and one onion, and Maggi cubes. Africans love using Maggi cubes, so don't forget those. We have a little bit of uh, peas and mixed vegetables that we'll throw in there. And the signature <laughs> hot peppers, so scotch bonnet, right? Um, if you're Jamaican, scotch bonnet, jalapenos for Mexicans, all right, but it's pretty much the same thing. I'm going to use one onion, and we have the Maggi cubes that the Africans love. Got our rice here, and we have our signature hot peppers, scotch bonnet, also tomato paste, that's signature for jollof rice. We're going to add a few vegetables like peas and maybe a little more hot peppers and coconut oil. That's a lot healthier than other types of oils. And coconut is a wonder drug, and so we love to use it in West Africa, and we're gonna have a little garlic too. Cool, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the rice. That's what's gonna take the longest, and so we're gonna work smart, and we're gonna first chop up the onions because we're going to take some of the coconut oil and we're going to saute the onions a bit and that's going to kick the flavor in a, a, a little bit all right so the first thing we do is let's chop up let me move this so you can see everything clearly so let's just chop the tip of the onions off first and an easier way to chop onions is we'll put it on one end like this and do that and we'll dice it a couple of ways first then we'll cross section it like this and it's a lot safer to cut it this way so now all we have to do is chop it and the bits will go right in there so let's take some of the coconut oil. The coconut oil is a little expensive, but trust me, it's worth it. Free health care. Yeah, so we're going to scoop a, uh, some of the coconut oil. Just take a bit. And again, this is a lot healthier of an oil to use than what you're normally used to. Yeah, let's get some of that in there. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we have uh, coconut oil in the pot, and we're going to turn on to between medium and high, get it nice and hot and going, and um, once the coconut 
oil melts a bit, we're going to add our onions. All right. As you can see, we got our coconut oil melting. And there's Mr. Dill from marketing. <laughs> okay, so now that this is melting, it's a good place. Let's put it up a little higher, speed it up a bit. So now I'm going to hold the onion like this, and nice and easy, we're going to just chop in the onion pieces safely. It's a lot safer way to chop your onions. All right, just a few more, we don't want to overdo it. That's a little, that's a lot of onion, so let's take some of it out, all right, and now we're going to let that uh, flavor up a little bit, so for the garlic, I want to make sure, let's cut nice thin slices, uh, depending on who you are, some people like uh, a big uh, dose of garlic taste in their mouth, I don't, so I like to slice them a little thinner. And we won't put too much, we'll just use one large clove. And then we'll chop this up too. Yeah, you hear that sizzling? So it's starting to go. And we're gonna add this. So again, we're, we're gonna saute the onions and garlic a bit before we make the rice. So by the time we put the water in the rice, that water is going to be flavored nicely. All right, so now let's add the garlic to the onion. Nice. Nice. And right away, we're going to take a couple of the scotch bonnet peppers. gonna be hot and we always want to wash them cool. and you don't have to do a lot with the peppers I just like to slice it a bit throw it in and you know you're gonna get the kick so you don't have to slice them all thin like the other ones this was a little big so let's chop it into thirds and with the peppers wash your hands <laughs> before you touch your face. Wash your hands before you touch your face. Don't tell me, don't tell me I'm gonna warn you. Right, so now we're just gonna mix this a little bit. Yep. And let that just go for a while. So, uh, right now, uh, while the rice is getting prepped to cook, we're going to get the chicken ready. And that's pretty easy. So, the smaller pieces like drumsticks, they're gonna go in just as is. Let's just get uh, some drumstick pieces out. All right. Yeah. Uh, four's good. You gonna you, you gonna eat some? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. So yeah, let's get these pieces out here. All right. And if you look, can you zoom in on this? Okay. This chicken comes from the Mayflower Poultry Company, and the reason why that's important is this company is in Cambridge. They raise their own chickens. They don't put any um, preservatives in the chickens or steroids. And so this is where I go to get my chicken from. And other than that, you will get hormone chicken. So find a place where you can get fresh, uh, fresh poultry from. Ooh. Let's get out a few more pieces. And what we're going to do with the chicken, normally... Uh, oh, cool. The eyes, nice. So this is a big piece. So with the thighs, we're going to chop that and make it a little bit smaller. Always cut outward, away from your hand. You never want to have an issue where you're chopping into your fingers or your hands. So ch always chop outward, away from your hand. Right. And jalap is nice because you get to mix up different chicken pieces. Some with skin, some without. All right. So we're just going to do a nice little variety here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to saute it in that coconut oil and we're going to get it nice and browned up and then we're going to add it to the rice all right so you see my hands i got to wash my hands so we're working with chicken 
salmonella. So make sure that throughout the process, you're cleaning all the time. And then when you're done, make sure that you clean your hands and your cooking area a lot because salmonella is no joke. All right, so I think that our rice here, we have, all right, can you get a, can you come in, uh, you see how our, our, our uh, onions, garlic, hot peppers are browned up a bit, right? So that's gonna give that rice nice, nice flavor. So we're gonna start off by adding, it's two to one with the rice. So whatever measuring tools you're using, two to one. So we're gonna use three, because we want to make, make sure that there's enough for, for you to eat too, so we have, that's two cups, yeah? Let's do one more. And you want to be careful when you um, are filling up the water for the rice, because remember, we also have to have um, a little room to add the rice itself, and then also we're going to have the chicken in later. So we have, that. that's going to start to boil. And let's get the rice in here to be measured, all right. Okay, so here's our rice ready to go in there once that's boiling. So you want that to be boiling. Okay. Um, as you guys know, I teach media production at Wheelock College. And something that um, I wanted to say is very important that we teach is um, the messaging behind um, media. And I remember when I was a little kid, there was a public service announcement, PSA, with Daffy Duck <laughs> from um, Warner Brothers. And if you can point down to the pan for a second, this is something that has made a big difference in my life. Every time I cook, I remember Daffy Duck, that PSA showed a pot with the handle sticking off of the stove and how dangerous that could be. And so Daffy Duck always told you in the PSA to make sure when you're cooking that the handle is turned inward so you never accidentally hit it and burn yourself, right? And so the importance of public service announcements, I'm telling you that that PSA from when I was nine years old still sticks with me today when I cook, all right? We're gonna add in um, just one. These are called Maggie Cubes. If uh, seasonings that, I don't care what country in West Africa you go to, you'll see Maggie. <laughs> so we're gonna drop one of those in there. And it's great for seasoning. And we're also going to put a little sea salt in there, All right? Sea salt is uh, really good for you. It's gonna absorb in the body a lot nicer for you. So sea salt, word. All right, so we just wait for that to boil up and then we'll get to the chicken next. So now we're gonna add the rice. Now remember we put um, three cups of water or three measurements of water in there. So we're gonna do one and a half. So that's one. So we're just gonna do another half. Yeah, so that's about good. And you, you'll see when I cook, I, uh, I don't ever use measuring cups or anything like that. Um, the best chefs don't need no measuring cups. Huh? Go with the flavor, how it feels. So let's mix that a little bit. And we're gonna let that boil and let it boil the water out. Once it boils the water out, we're gonna mix a little bit of the tomato paste in it and then let it cook for a little bit. Then we're gonna saute our chicken in coconut oil and we'll be almost ready to eat. Cool? So now we're gonna add in the secret ingredient for jollof rice. There's a lot of rice all over the planet, but jollof rice, this is what kicks the secret. And so we're going to open up tomato paste and if you look at the rice you'll see that it's at a point where all the water is almost gone and this is a perfect time to add the tomato paste and depending on your flavor uh oh depending on your preference you can add a lot or not too much depending on how much tomato flavoring you like so i like about medium so let's just mix that in So we're not gonna put the whole thing in because I like it mildly tomatoed up. Alright, and now this is gonna mix that, keep it mixing. Get it all mixed in. Try not to be as messy as me. Okay. 
And at this point, we're going to turn the heat down to low. And keep mixing, get it all the way through. Want to be fair to all the grains of rice, right? And this is what makes it jollof, the tomato. So what we're going to do at this point is we will then cover this and let it simmer. While it's uh, finishing up, we're going to then saute our chicken in coconut oil. Making jollof is like wrestling a bear, man. It's a lot of work. <laughs> so we're going to cover it and put it on low. While the rice is uh, uh, simmering and finishing up, we're going to get the chicken ready. We're going to prepare that so we can saute it in, again, coconut oil. And then we're going to add that to the rice and everything's going to finish up together. So we're going to start, we're going to use some seasoned salt. We don't want to overdo it. Um, we don't want it too salty. So just a little bit, nice and lightly, add the seasoned salt. And we want to do that to both sides though. So again, you want to be fair to either side of the chicken. Right? We'll flip it over once you flavor one side. And again, not too heavy. Salt is not supposed to take over the flavor of what you're cooking. It's supposed to just give it a little kick and enhance the taste of what's already there, so you don't want to overdo salt, alright? So, just lightly. And don't forget, we've already flavored the rice, and this is going to end up in the rice also, so you have multiple uh, times that you've seasoned it. So don't overdo it. The way we're going to see if that oil is ready, let's get a little bit of water. Let's pop it in there. Yeah, it's a little ready, it's ready, it's ready. All right, cool, so we're gonna just lay the chicken in and let's go ahead and put the chicken that has the bone in it first. Give it more time to cook. Remember, it's gonna take longer for that to cook because it has the bone in it. Because we, again, we're gonna have it finished cooking with the rice. Coconut oil, cool. And now we wait. Cool, so now we have our chicken cooked a little bit. And so we're gonna add the jollof. And we'll let that cook for a little bit while we clean up. And so, you get that okay? You see it okay? Oh, that you see some of the uh, rice is still white, so we'll mix that up a little bit after we get it in here. Make sure everything's mixed beautifully. <laughs> and we're going to be eating very soon. Cool. Smells great. Oh, yes. <laughs> can you handle spicy food? I can. Okay, alright. O'Toole, where is that from? Irish. So you can handle spicy food. <laughs> <laughs> alright, so we'll start off giving you a little rice. Right. Jollof rice. And you see the pepper pieces in there? Mm -hmm. So let's get some chicken here. Alright. And do you like a drumstick? Um, or the boneless? Uh, probably the boneless. Okay, alright. So that's boneless right there. And I'm gonna get a little bit of the veggies here for you. And we like honesty, so you gotta tell us the truth whether you like it or not, you know? We think it's good. Yeah? George Stern, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sorry, wrecking your Photo bombing, photo bombing. You know? <laughs> All right, beautiful. Okay. And jollof rice. This is one of our favorite meals mm -hmm. when people come to Ghana. Yeah. Ask anybody who's been to Ghana. Yeah. And it's a lovely meal because it has all your protein. It has so much in it. Protein. Mm -hmm. All your veggies, um, it's good for you. Yeah. And as you know, as you saw when we were cooking, we use coconut oil. Mm -hmm. we use all the yeah. freshest. The chicken is from Mayflower poultry, so they wow. kill their own chicken there. Yeah. They don't um, jack it up with steroids, you know. <laughs> and and in fact, in, in West Africa, we have a joke. Mm -hmm. We call it bicycle chicken, 
because our chickens are so yeah. skinny, we yeah. say they look like they ride bikes. Oh. Because <laughs> <laughs> they don't have, yeah. you know, all, all the steroids in it. Yeah. yeah. So, welcome to Bicycle Chicken. Well, thank you. Uh, have a taste. Okay. Mm. How is it? Great. You like it? Oh, absolutely. Beautiful. Get a close-up of that woman eating that chicken. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to get a little for myself. And next time, 